All right, Billionaire's Boy Boys Club. That's a mouthful. What's the difference between a bad guy and a good guy who does bad things? Where's the line between white lie and outright evil? I want you to play rock. I want you to claw the eyes out. Do you remember Joe Hunt was telling you about? Joe is a genius. I'd love to hear your investment strategy. Gentlemen, how about we make some new money? The BBC. The only difference between high-risk investing and a Ponzi scheme is how it all ends. This deal is worth a quarter of a billion dollars. And your lives <coughs> will never be the same. Billionaire boys. This car is worth more than my apartment. I'm kind of all over the place, Joe. Diverting investments to pay expenses. What are you doing? I'm from Wall Street. Do you think people really get rich playing by the rules? Where's the money? There was never any money. Ron had a fake account. Ron Levin burnt me down, Sid. I owe a lot of money to a lot of people. I need to pay them back. If the BBC creators, every document will be under the microscope of the IRS, the SEC, the FBI. What would you do to make him give us our money back? Sometimes the truth is the best lie. Take my mouth shut so no one can hear him squeal. Where's Ron Levin? What did you do? There's only one move here. Kyle Watson and Don't you feel guilty? That got dark. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. <laughs> it felt like uh, it was trying to be Wolf of Wall Street a little bit. Can you watch that? I watched it. So I watched Wolf of Wall Street on an airplane. Mm -hmm. And you know how they cut out any drug use or any sex? It's a three-hour movie, and I saw like an hour and 45-minute <laughs> cut. Yeah, I heard that movie was really bad. Yeah. Um, Morally. Let's see, what Max say? Yeah, she was the main event, and Mark Hunt is New Zealand, but fights out of Australia. Okay, he fights out of there. Okay. Uh, I knew he was from New Zealand. I didn't know he fought out of there, but I knew, I did know they're different countries. <laughs> I just know you guys really like to be lumped together. I think that's your favorite thing. Um, but yeah, the, the Taryn Edgerton is in... Um, uh, Kingsman and the Secret Service and he did really good in that yeah uh, I agree Plague sorry uh, seeing Spacey is a bit risky I I don't like him I, I saw Baby Driver after all his stuff came out did you hear about that? Mm -mm. he got I, I don't know if, if, if anyone in the chat knows but or can c correct me if I say something wrong but <coughs> I think he was um like, oh man, I'm gonna get this all wrong because I'm getting it mixed up with John Travolta, who was like trying to get his male masseuse to like <laughs> give him special time. Uh, Spacey was like hitting on like a 16 year old boy who was like an up and coming um, actor. Mm -hmm. And like, I don't know if they got together or what, but he came out and said that he was abused by him. When he was a kid, so like 10, 15 years ago. And, oh, and then that was his coming out. Yeah. And it and was like, every, he was, I'm brave for coming out. Yeah. yeah I, I heard about that. I just couldn't remember who it was. Yeah, it was like, oh, I'm, I need to let the world know now that I'm actually gay. And everyone's like, no, that's not the problem here, <laughs> Spacey. You're a pedophile. That's the issue. Yeah. I was 14. Okay. Yeah, that's bad. Yeah, that's <laughs> uh, I felt so I saw Baby Driver after all that stuff came out and watching him uh, be with Baby in the movie just felt very uncomfortable because of their dynamic in that Yeah, and it feels very um, parallel mm -hmm. where he's like showing him because this is Ansel Elgert and Kevin Spacey again mm -hmm. both together again. but uh I don't know if I caught any of the memes. He got more? That's not good. Um, 
the Taron Edgerton's accent sounds terrible. So mm, he's, no, he's got, so in Kingsman at least, he might be putting it on for that. But he's got a really, um, what do you call that? Is it Cockney? Is that, am I just making that up? I don't know. He's got a really thick British accent, but it's like the the lesser class, lower class British. You're looking at me like I'm saying something offensive. I don't think I'm saying something <laughs> offensive. Uh, si- yeah, Cockney. Okay. He's got a real thick Cockney accent. And in mm-hmm. this, is like he's trying really hard to have... I don't even know. I don't know what to call that accent. Because it wasn't American. Mm-hmm. But maybe he was going for American, like a New York accent. But it, it just was really off. What do you guys think of uh, Billionaire Boys Club? I'd feel weird buying a ticket for that. (laughs) (laughs) All right, last trailer. 